landforms. India can be divided into major landforms as 1. The Great Mountains of North 2. The Great Northern Plains of India 3. The Peninsular Plateaus 4. The Coastal Plains 5. The Islands The Great Mountains of North this includes the Himalayan ranges and the eastern hills or the Purvanchal. The Himalayas are the young fold of mountains and are divided into three main ranges that run parallel to each other. These are the Himadri, the lesser or middle Himalaya and the outer or the Shivaliks. The Great Northern Plains of India This large flat area lies to the south of the Himalayan mountains. It extends from Punjab in the west to Assam in the east. They are alluvial in nature and are composed of older alluvium or new alluvium. These plains are drained by the rivers Satluj and Bias. The Peninsular Plateau It lies to the south of the Great Plains of Northern India. It is composed of two parts, that is, the Malwa Plateau and the Deccan Plateau. The Vindhya and Satpura ranges separate these two parts of the plateau. Anaimudi is the highest peak of Deccan and is 2,695 meters high. The Coastal Plains Our country has a long coastline. It is very useful for our country. The Deccan Plateau separates the Western Coastal Plain from the Eastern Coastal Plain and both these meet at Kanyakumari. The Islands these are the large land areas surrounded by water. There are many islands, some near and some far from the coast of India. There are two main groups of islands. These are the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea. Rivers The rivers of India play an important role in the lives of the Indians. The river streams provide water for irrigation, transportation, electricity, as well as livelihood for large number of people. Seven major rivers along with their tributaries make up the rivers of India. These are Indus, Brahmaputra, Narmada, Tapti, Godavari, Krishna and Mahanadi. The water from these rivers is diverted into canals. The canals can take river water to the far off fields where there is less water. It is useful for the farmers to irrigate the lands. At some places, river water is stored in a huge cemented box called as dam. The water stored in the dams helps in the production of electricity. Climate India is a big country. We have different surface land. Some have mountains, some are landforms and some are plateaus. Some part of India is very cold and some parts are very hot. One thing that is common throughout our country is the cycle of seasons. The whole country has three main seasons. The summer season, the rainy season and the winter season. The summer season begins in the month of April when the sun rays are vertically overhead. In these months, the days are longer and the nights are short. The winter season lasts from November to February every year. In the northern plains, 
the cold wind blows making winter severe the rainy season is also known as monsoon season it starts in the month of june and lasts until august the vegetation vegetation refers to the plants and trees present in our environment the trees and the forests help us in many ways by keeping the air clean and the climate cool we have large variety of forests in india the type of forest depends upon the amount of rainfall forests can be classified into evergreen forests these are found in the hot and the rainy parts of our country deciduous forests these are also called as monsoon forests the trees in these forests shed their leaves once in the summer coniferous forests the slopes of the himalayan are covered with these type of thick forests the trees grow in the mountain and slopes over large areas thorny forests these forests are found in the dry areas tidal forests these forests are found near the coast in the flooded water mangrove and sundari are the two types of trees found in this forest agriculture india is a land of agriculture due to various climate there are variety of crops grown in the different parts of the country we have two agricultural seasons one the kharif season begins with the monsoon two the rabi season it begins when the monsoon ends main crops rice is the staple food of most indians it is grown in the hot and wet areas the main producers of rice are west bengal assam odisha and andhra pradesh and the coastal regions of india wheat is the main food of north indians it is generally produced in punjab and haryana western uttar pradesh and northeast madhya pradesh sugarcane is another important food crop used in the production of sugar and gur it is produced in uttar pradesh punjab haryana and tamil nadu tea is a plantation crop produced in the tea gardens of assam and northern parts of west bengal oil seeds provide oil for cooking which is grown in south india cotton is grown in gujarat punjab rajasthan and madhya pradesh jute the golden fiber of india is produced in assam odisha and west bengal spices are produced in the malabar coastal areas in kerala and karnataka